more and more engage options, maybe one of them will get through because Poppy can't block everything. And you so know, they, they could have potentially put the Quirky mid. I don't think you wanted to do that, but you could have gone, gone like way, but man. That's the uh, the worst scenario against a Skarner. This is the like most action with no kills I, I feel like I've ever seen. <laughs> but great. That's I, I was, awesome. I was just going back to the Lucid Point here, it, he has been so fan. Okay, well, never no Lucid Point, Wolf. No Lucid Point. Feral's dead. Okay, down he goes. First blood goes to Kellen, and Deft has to flash away as well. Feral not having his flash. Okay. Okay. All right, surely there's it's, no... It's great. I mean, this is what we were talking about before the game started, as now he's going to knock the Sejuani into the wall. W comes down, and you know what? Pyoshi is just dead. He doesn't have his flash. And Lucian still has his. He gets away. BDD not able to punish in this 3v3. Barrel's still here. He's going to keep Kellen around as Deft is trying to help out. But at the end of the day, it's just a, a kill here. And now the wall's going to come down. Barrel has to flash away himself. As Lucid's like, come on, guys, let's just do the dragon instead. This is so crazy, the aggression. And it's pulled a lot of the attention away for KT of that bottom lane. They haven't been able to really put the pressure onto Aiming or Kellen at all. They've kind of been forcing them out of lane nonstop. Sentinel here is going to get focused down. Nothing they could do to stop this dragon. BDD doesn't have ult, doesn't have flash, doesn't have any agency. And that's flash just here. And Showmaker's already here. The root comes down onto Kellen, but I, I think he's still in a lot of trouble. Flash comes in and. And Deft is just going to hold on to his cleanse. He knows he's 100% dead. That's another kill over to D-plus Kia. That one going over to the Corky. I mean, D-plus are just running circles around KT this game. And Showmaker sacrificing more minions here. Doesn't have his teleport. It's nearly up. I mean, it's almost perfect. It could have been calculated as more action. Who sits here? And Impel is on point. And you're not getting out of this one casting. The knockup comes in. And with no flash available, the timing on the gank is perfect. And Skarner's so good at setting those up. Now, BDD and Pyoshik trying to trade it back. He's got Flash, though. Yeah, and this is Skarner. And the ult is just going to sail wide. Pyoshik trying to get on in there on the Lucid, but it is uh, stunned to come down, actually, underneath the turret. But Lucid barely going to go down. Which just Sadly for BDD, the kill doesn't go to him, but still a trade back of some kind. But it is not enough to say this game is anywhere near even. Still 20 CS up Lucid in this game. Significantly ahead on farm. And over here, you know, Deft and Barrel, no control of the jungle, cannot apply any pressure to aiming. And they've been trying to, but they were punished last time, and they keep getting pulled out of this lane. Yeah. And Showmaker sacrificed a lot for this, but it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. These individual drakes for the side of DK. This first turret will go the way of Deft and might be followed up by Corky in the bottom side, although there is a big response. Nice seismic shove here from Showmaker, just to say no. And, and yeah, they get over here in time to actually stop this turret from going down. I feel like this is a bit poor, though, by KT in terms of what they could have done with the teleport and the advantage top side like this in turn. But we're a bit disappointed that the call for casting was to buy Leandri's and then just walk back bottom. They think if casting it as teleport bottom and ulted the wave, then could have actually just been fine. Just have looked a lot better for KT in these uh -oh. last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Barrel just out in the middle of nowhere trying to get some deep wards in. That's a free kill. Goes from oh. casting, it looks like, to. But also just try. go in here on Adept. I yeah. mean, Adept is all alone here. He does have flash and cleanse, but uh, yeah, they're just going to leave that one as the teleport does come in from BDD. And now try uh, to Showmaker, who is in a lot of trouble, but the rest of KT trying to close the distance and get in. They finally take out Showmaker, and now Kellen. Kind of left on his lonesome Lucid the same, just gonna ult the rubble away. But this is a great fight for KT. They turn it around with a TP and pick up two kills. Pretty optimistic against Def there to try to look for that play as King in. If you have the follow up instantly, it's much easier. But Def had cleanse. He also had flash. He has a turret still standing there. Very difficult to pull that one off. He's also full health here. So KT needs to play very respectful. Barrel still could look for an engage, and that's why D plus are spreading themselves out here. They don't absolutely need a hard force for this. They already have a two Drake lead. Gotta be so wary of the Nico engage. Kellen. Oh, Barrel, he has to flash away from that one, and it might work out for him, though. But we got 
We got a lot of different angles coming in onto this fight. You see King and on the left as the knockaway of the jungler and this fight comes in lucid once again. Gonna get the job done. And Deft has to flash away from the size of a shove. And the appeal in the brush. They're not right ready for that one. And now Pyoshik is all by him. It's lonesome. They're so low on the backside of this fight. DK not gonna over chase, but man, they got a lot of value out of that fight. Really nice trap set there by King in. If they try to push on him, he has that defensive capability or he can turn it around. They don't get a kill, but they will be able to, with that exchange, grab this turret on top of the steel there. Oops, we're impaled. Now, yeah. uh, speaking of which, oops, we are knocked into the wall as trying to dive here. BDD's going to go down. Uh, casting surely gets this kill, right? Okay, he is going to pick up the kill, but now TP coming in. Showmaker has Weaver's Wall. Yeah, Showmaker definitely going to try to punish this one. The Equalizer is pretty good. Seismic Shove is going to get some damage in, but this is a rumble making things pretty spicy as now we got more action as Pilsik was going in there to try to save him. I don't even know, guys. Pilsik's just going to go down. It's a double kill for aiming. And now for Cubs Aftershock, the Celestial Opposition. I mean, it, it's basically like you, you got to chew through four different things if you ever want to try to kill Liliana. It is. This is the fight that likely decides this game. Yeah, and BDD is their most fed member at this point. He's already taken some damage as Piotrzyk. He's just going to send it into Lucid, but Lucid is able to charge away from the follow-up. His barrel only able to get the knockup on the Poppy immediately is going to be pulled back. Meanwhile, trying to turn now on to Kellen, who we said before is pretty much unkillable. A nice chunk of damage still done to him. As King and still looking for his angle. So many low health bars here between the two teams. All right, Lucid trying to come over here and start up this dragon. A bit optimistic, though, as BDD coming back in, looking for an angle to line up. Oh, he just passed, passed out of the rocks. Yikes. I mean, we, we talked about this, right? Like in a straight up 5v5, it is difficult to make this work into this fight and then knock back into the noggin of the wall. And you just don't get to play the game, Pyoshik. And with the jungler gone, that will be Ocean Soul to the side of DK. Casting, very nice dodge here. But the follow-up is coming in. Now they're trying to turn and fight this one 4v4. They know the Poppy is gone, but the rock to the face. And down will go the Yone. And King is looking for more. Gets a couple of flashes with his impale. But the fight is not done. They're still going in. They're still looking for more blood. DK can't get enough. So solo right now, Lucid has taken the dragon. It does go oh scrappy, but honestly, mostly sloppy game from KT Rolster. I mean, D Plus's comp has so much engaged. KT's engage is ultimate uh, reliant. You know, you need Barrel's ult, you need BDD's ult, Depth's ult potentially, right? Or Pyoshik's ultimate, whereas D Plus's have so much consistent engage. So you trade ults, and D Plus is like, I'm still ready. You know, come at me. And now they're going to grab this inhibitor. BDD getting some value topside, but it is not equivalent. But yeah, we'll probably get one. It, it probably shouldn't. I'll just say that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're being pushed out of here, and with, you know, I mentioned before, the flash hit with the impale! There you oh! go! And now a massive counter engage comes in, but do they have the damage? It's a question. Down will go Showmaker, but that might just be it for the damage that goes into them. King is so tanky, Kellen's so tanky, aiming, still full health, still pushing into the base. And it was a fantastic counter engage, but not quite enough money to get the job done, especially without death. Yeah, and now with no equalizer, I think D Plus could just escort this next wave with the super minions here and look to start chipping away. 25 seconds on BDD, but he won't have his ultimate. Same to be said of Barrel when he respawns. I think this should be the beginning of the end. Well, they're going to dive a Sejuani under Nexus turret, so it's looking just likely as down will go Pyoshik. And down will go casting, and down should go these Nexus turrets. It was a very insanely scrappy game. Very much back and forth. This barrel desperate, death also desperate, but it will not happen. The Nexus goes down, and DK take game one. Now the 11 kills oh, as well, which you knew was coming. Yeah. So now you're playing Lethality, Jace, Lethality, Callista into Skarner, Poppy, Leona. This is some of the most questionable drafting I've seen, Valdez, and they are... Oh. Top scuttle, but is unable to do so. Something's gone on here. Support Portal Combat. Portal <laughs> Combat. Um, yeah, it doesn't last too long, as he's just going to get flashed on him. Perfect. He has aggro on the turret. The flash comes in from Lucid, and that's just first blood. Perfect goes down. But uh, glad to see the confidence from Kingen in a moment like that. Just identifying the situation, taking advantage 
of perfect. As here comes BDD, the uh, equalizer comes down from the top side. Knockback here on a BDD who is getting pretty low. Lucid, though, is getting burnt quite a bit by perfect. Against a rumble, so it is going to be a while before uh -oh. he ends up. Uh oh, oh well, he is going to scan it, but the knockout comes in into the follow up from the Talia, and BDD has no chance. The only way to get out of that one is to flash immediately, but he does not, and immediately he goes down. And they're still going to be able to hold this dragon here, KT, despite BDD getting picked here. A lot of cooldowns used, namely the Keeper's Verdict, and there's no way to come over and deny, so at least they get this. Spend the rest of the day talking about it. Like, happens in game one of a six-game I can't day. believe everybody voted for everyone else. And, like, Ox is in the Brendo bus, like, still explaining why yeah. it was Pleta. Like, you're like, I don't even remember the game anymore, Ox, you know. That happens to everybody. Suspicious, as he should be. <laughs> of uh, potential gank, and Deft is just in no man's land, but there's nobody to follow up on Lucid. The double knockup comes in, and now Lucid in a lot of trouble. He's gonna burn down Barrel, just gonna get Fates called, and Kellen has to go forward, but to his demise, BDD as well, getting some damage, and they're gonna take out Showmaker, and it's three kills to the side of KT and the Rift Herald. You can see why they're being so timid, how volatile these two comp ready, though, for this dragon. Yeah. As here we go again, trying to look for a play on a barrel as he will go into clone mode and he is burning down, but Kellen is going to be the support that goes down. As eventually, so will Barrel. Flashes with the AD carry, but now Impale is down, as is the Skarner Flash. KT trying to set up here on this one. King and now in an awkward spot, but he is baiting out a lot of CC, but they have oodles and boodles of it as King is going to go down. And now the rest of the fight does begin. The Equalizer is massive onto Showmaker and Kellen. They burn for so long. He's now in the bush. Lucid just going to try to get on the run, and he is going to be forced to keep his verdict, but even the Blast Cone not going to save you here, buddy. <laughs> down he will go, and the Mountain, the mountain Drake rather will go to KT. BDD surely did send him to the skies on that one with the Blast Cone there. We'll take him out. And finally, the Dragon goes the way of KT. It's a 2 when We're very close to finishing our first item at 20 minutes into the game. Hey. It's just uh, one of the things we got. By the way, on Chemtech Rift, pretty fantastic for KT's uh -oh. position. Uh oh, indeed. Yeah, the TP is going to come in here and the Impale. It just keeps you locked down for way too long. Although that Equalizer is burning down Showmaker, it's still going to be a kill over to the side of Deep. Money wise, but it lost them a lot of everything else because now you can see Perfect is ready to get top turret. Oh, oh look at that Seismic shove. Jeez. This is going to be quite a lot. I think it hit a clone, though, and the Sejuani, so. At the end of the day, classier than perhaps it was. Perfect gets his top turret, right? He's got TP, so, you know, D plus on a bit of a timer here in terms of the value. And King is just trying to clear mid wave. And that's not going to be a hit here on Adept, who also does have cleanse, so not even going to get the cleanse out of him. And Perfect, as you mentioned, so, there's no way they could even approach this pit. He's got choke points covered by Barrel as well. And now it's just going to be BDD heading down to the bottom lane. Now this is Chemtech Soul, so it doesn't matter. They're definitely aware of this. Pioshik trying to pressure here, going to push them away. A bit risky to try to go for that Baron Take King, and he's still here by himself in mid, and again he's going to be isolated as the Impale does come in, and he is very difficult to kill, but eventually he will go down as Pioshik does take a bunch of damage. Um, in the you know, we do burn through his health bar. It's Turret, though, in the trade. Yeah. The idea was we need to back to defend this mid push, but it's but like we also want to Leon. <laughs> uh, here we go again. I mean, how many times is this gonna happen? He is gonna flash away, and the Weaver's Wall does come down. Death barely gonna miss. Get a dodge on that one, but the Equalizer once again is pretty good. The Impale on a push against the tanks are just being bullied in this game. And the Equalizer got a ton of here and together. perfect soloing this. Kem takes soul. He did it <laughs> on this one. Lucid does have the ult to come through, but the Sigil catches him, and Jace is going to secure it as Barrel nearly goes down, but it does not matter. They have a perfect angle, and down will go two of the members already, the bottom laners of DK. The Baron goes the way of KT. Down will go Lucid and Showmaker, and KT, they might have just won the game right there. I mean, what was Kingen doing that whole time? He just took a joyride between two turrets. He was he was just driving through. He didn't come to the fight at all. They needed him there. They needed a front line. They needed some defensive options. And even though he couldn't have gone for a flank, 
Teleport. He could have just teleported onto his team and helped peel for them there, but he just didn't show up. And now he's the last man standing, looking for an impale here. I think it's too little too late. He's not even gonna get, get, get the kill on a PO Sheik. I mean, Kellen, he's still getting in there. He's still fighting, but the five members alive, they will be able to take down the Nexus, and we will have our game three. As Close is the flanking. Kindred. Okay. All righty. Well, that's a Pioshik special. We got the King in special here. It feels like an exhibition match. Lucid has his best chance. A big play here for the Drake. Four members on the Drake, but four members of DK also trying to get in here, but they want to turn on to Kellen. And where are you going to go? You're trapped in the cage, and immediately he goes down, just executed, like you said. Nice foreshadowing there from the top side, though. I don't think they're going to feel too happy about that, even though they did get the flash. See Death and Barrel, they're trying to clear this wave, but they're not quite able to. The damage is a bit delayed on Adeptus. They will get this kill, though, and the dive is going horribly wrong as two kills go the way of KT. Now, they do take out Deft, and Aiming will stay alive, so he'll get some value there, but not quite the cleanest dive I've ever seen, Wolf. That's why you don't dive Nautilus. It's another Nautilus feature, is he's got those roots, and he just looks at one champion, he roots them, he hooks, he roots again, and he has a shield. You can't kill this guy, he didn't even have to flash. Is it worth it? No. I don't think I don't think it is. KT I mean, are going to get started as Event Horizon will miss, and perfect also. TP. You can try it if you want. We'll see how it goes. Three people coming on in. No teleport. And Perfect is just left out to dry as they're using quite a lot. Oh, the flash on in. And Perfect is going to turn it around. Picks up a kill. Side. Yeah. And that's from the Skarner. So first turret blood does go to KT. And you saw that KT. to give it up, too, when you don't know what soul it could be. It could be Hextech soul. could be Infernal. Yeah. Time to go in is when Event Horizon is down. And I think DK, they have identified this. But really nice chain of corruption does come down. Barrel. Also going to maintain that front line here, and now trying to go for the follow-up engage, and Kellen is just so dead, but now Barrel taking a ton of damage, and DK, look at turn this around, but again, the Lambs are fight pretty good, but Priochik left out to dry, and BDD and Def not quite able to step up to them as aiming, and King is so good, getting a bunch of resets, and ending that fight. Ignore whatever you have in terms of defensive capability, which is part of the reason why it's so strong. You can't cleanse it, you'll always the, get... Uh, the fact that D-plus didn't or that KT didn't get two dragons. They have an extra dragon worth of percent. Zeri right now. Yeah, the Zeri is basically a raid boss at this point. And you can throw down an Event Horizon, but that's got a cooldown. You can throw down a, a Lambs or Spite. That's got a very large cooldown. And the, the Zeri is just going to be skating around the map and can delay and can wait for her next opportunity. So they're just all still kind of hanging around the dragon. Now, that does mean they're not in position to stop this push. So KT do get a free mid tier one. Showmaker will get the bot tier one, but the mid one is going to feel a bit better for KT. That's really important for them. I mean, started up here, but the damage you mentioned is huge. And Barrel just walking up the event horizon. There's no way for the fight to get in. You just cannot access the pit. You can see they don't really have the vision. Oh, the hook around the corner and the chain of corruption will come down as well as the R from the Nautilus and Showmaker in so much trouble. But the counter engage comes in. The Lancer Spite is massive to keep them all alive. But Kingen is running at them. He is alone, but here comes Lucid now into that back line, takes down Deft. And you see it's Kingen against the world, whereas Perfect is going against the world as well. King and Lucid still on the chase here. So many low health bars. BDD still alive. Perfect still in the 1v2. Lucid gonna pick up the double. Uh, BDD still alive. The flash missed Q though, and King's gonna get out here. And Perfect, I don't know if he's one for this world. Oh, Ooh. nice try, but yeah. Oh, the damage on a Kellen. He is just so incredibly tanky. Can they actually kill him is the question. Need the Vi-Q to come back up, and there it is. They should have enough from here, and that is the one from aiming. Here. Can he get into range to ult aiming? He's trying. Oh, yeah, he would love to. But he is going to play that front line and, and skip vision. Do they know about this guy on the left side, the Vi? They get onto the back line, and now the ult comes in. Kellen does go down, but Lucid's in that back line. The uh, Lamps or Spite is going to keep them all alive, but the health bars are so low, and Showmaker is just running them down alongside of Aiming, who on the Zeri, alongside of this Aatrox, will eventually nearly totally wipe them. The triple kill comes through, 5,000 damage for Aiming. And that was the engage that DK was looking for. And even with Barrel on the Nautilus, they just can't shut this guy down. 
And each and every time, it's D-plus dictating the pace in the beginning of these fights. And Showmaker does an insane amount of damage. Dragon is going to go the way of D-plus two for two here in terms of Dragons. But the gold lead is so significant now for the delay is not enough for KT. I mean, Vagar is not strong enough. No, really not. I mean, he's sitting at 30 minutes in nearly, and he's he doesn't have his death cap. He's... It's Very far from it. Oh, there's a little bit of an engage here as they're trying to get on up. Yoshik and BDD is in a really rough spot. Knocked up forever. The laser spike and triple impale. Will it matter, though? I think the answer is no. Yoshik, though, with a couple of kills, though, making it interesting. BDD also picks up one. But at the end of the day, King and Aiming are still alive. And they're still fighting here with pretty healthy health bars. Perfect is so incredibly tanky. Can they take him out is the question. He's flashing onto Aiming and he takes him down. Perfect with a huge kill. Gets the shutdown of 1,000 gold, but eventually he does go down himself. Aiming is at right now. Death down towards the bottom, actually, as King in is alone, but so is Barrel, and that hook is not going to hit the wall. Barrel just dead. Three, it's the series decider, and Ooh. another intense. Oh, oh, here we go. Lamps of Spite is going to be cast, but he's alone, and everybody else is running away. So Pioshik will be taken out. Lots of damage coming in now. They want to end this right here, right now. BDD is in the Zonias against so many people, and he will eventually be taken out by aiming of all people. Going to stack that bounty even larger, as they will now go for the Baron. Barrel gets caught. He wants to set up for the flank there, but I mean, even King and had GA. That wasn't really any way they could have blown him up there. And Barrel is really fishing the last fight as well, just going straight on to aiming with no follow up, no ability for the rest of the team to come through. These are really backfiring for him. Unfortunately, that means they are in a comfortable spot already as maybe they're just going to dive instead. I mean, they are looking for BDD, and that is the ult to come in, but no follow-up as finally the Rakan goes in, and down will go BDD. Barrel as well underneath the turret, and that's a couple of more kills for the Zeri. Is this just going to be another Penta? That's a triple already for the side of aiming, and you can see that KT do not want to give that one over. Yeah, I think he's going to be hard-pressed to kill or for a, a full double? health Skarner, but you know? Maybe it was just a double. I'm not sure. I think it was a triple. I thought it was a triple, but I saw a double come up, so I'm not, not 100%. Either way, this is great for DK. They're pushing in, and they might finally end the chaos that is DK versus KT every single time. That's perfect now. There's only so much tanking that that Scorpion can do. And down he will go. Down will go the Nexus turrets, and D plus Kia will be your winners tonight in the 2-1 victory over KT. Once again, a series that goes to three.